Hello everybody, this is Tyler Jordan and today I will introduce you to a new method of praying and if you're interested in this way of praying, please do try to include it. It's a lot of fun and it's going to accelerate your prayers. The thing is, we're all blessed with a companion for life who accompanies us even after death and who is with us even before we are made manifest in this physical body of ours. And that is our guardian angel. No matter what denomination we belong to, you could be a Christian, a Sikh, a Muslim or a Hindu, it doesn't matter. We're all blessed with a guardian angel by God. And that guardian angel is your companion for life. And Angels, as you know, are androgynous. They are neither male nor female, but they do exude certain energies. Like, for instance, Archangel Michael, he emits a lot of masculine energy because he is the angel of protection and he is the patron angel of policemen and so on. So, the thing is, you may sometimes, even you or any other person, we all have masculine and feminine energies. Sometimes the masculine energies weigh more than the feminine ones and vice versa. So I always feel that my guardian angel is sometimes a male and sometimes I feel it's a she. So I can't box them into one category. So you may for your sake of convenience you can either address them as he or she it doesn't matter what matters is that you try to connect with your guardian angel you try to include him or her in prayers there was a time when i came across a post in which it stated that if you are ill and are unable to attend the mass the holy eucharist um the holy mass that is you can send your guardian angel to attend the mass on your behalf so i don't know how that works but i do know that there is this particular sect of angels known as the prayer angels and these angels are specifically designed to accompany you while you're praying so if you know about jacob from the bible you may have known uh, about his vision or dream that he had while he was sleeping jacob's ladder wherein he sees a stairway and angels from heaven come descending downwards so i look at these prayer angels like when i call upon them there is this stream of energy coming downwards from heaven. I always make it a point to call upon the prayer angels. I call upon the Holy Ghost before anybody else. And then I include my guardian angel and I ask them all to pray along with me to God. And uh, it is quite an honorable thing for your angel if you acknowledge for the sake of avoiding any awkwardness i would address to the guardian angel as a he so he is usually very very happy and he feels very humbled and honored when you include him when you acknowledge his presence because i think being a guardian angel is a very thankless job and uh, but he does it very diligently because he is bidding the word of the father so please try this method call upon your angel and pray and you will certainly see a difference many times our spirit is willing to pray but our body becomes so weak and lazy that we don't feel like getting out of bed, but they say that when it is the hardest to pray, that's when we need to pray hard. So during those times when you are wanting to pray but are unable to, please call upon your guardian angel and tell him that 
I am unable to pray, so please pray for me and he will definitely pray for you and you will see the results. So please do share any experiences that you have with your guardian angel or any angel or spiritual being for that matter. Comment below and let me know. And if you're interested in spirituality and in the future, I will be making videos about quantum physics as well. And also I'll be sharing um, imitation jewelry and silver jewelry. So if you're interested in such videos, please do subscribe to my channel. And also I will be making story sessions wherein I'll be sharing some real life experiences, my thoughts and also stories that I've grown up reading or listening. So if you're interested in all sorts of random things, do make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to my subscribers who already subscribed. I just want to say that I am really, really very grateful for each and every one of you and I'm very, very thankful to the ones that religiously leave comments below my video. It means the world to me. Bye-bye and have a great day.